What's up everybody, Josh Dover here. Today, I'm announcing a new project. Let's get this going. So I'm sitting around the other day and I'm trying to think to myself, what should be my next project now that the cooler cart's getting really close to being finished up? I wanted to do something cool that pertained to, you know, what I'm passionate about, which is motorsports. Um, in particular, the mini bike thing that I'm doing. But I didn't want to do the standard Predator 212 build, you know, everybody's doing that. And I kind of wanted to go a different route. And the way technology is going in the automotive and the uh, power sports industry is a lot of stuff's going electric. And I thought, you know what, let's build an electric mini bike. So I dug into it, I did a lot of research, checking out different types of motors and controllers and batteries, and there's a lot of stuff that I didn't quite understand. I do now. But I got together a parts list, a, a, kind of a budget parts list of what I needed to do to maybe, or hopefully get this done. So what you see is what I got. So here we are guys, these are gonna be our batteries. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries. They're rated at 200 amps with a capacity of eight amp hours. Got a total of 52 of these. 25 feet of two gauge welding cable. This is a used electric pallet jack motor. It is a series wound DC motor. A quick disconnect for the batteries, the throttle or potentiometer box. This is a Curtis 1221B-6601 controller. It uses a voltage from 48 to 72 volts. It has a peak amperage rating of 500 amps for two minutes. This is a shunt and amp meter. This will allow me to monitor how many amps I'm pulling while under load. This is quarter inch aluminum stock. I'm gonna be using the aluminum as bus bars to connect my cells into a battery bank. Lastly, I wanna give a shout out to Micah Toll. He's the author of the Do-It-Yourself Lithium Batteries book that I have here. He also runs the ebikeschool.com YouTube channel and the ebikeschool.com website. Tons of good information. This guy explains everything you need to know about building your own battery banks for, whether it be a power wall or an electric bicycle or skateboard. Make sure you guys check out his stuff. I'll leave a link in the description below. So all these parts are gonna be going into a small mini bike frame. Um, the ultimate goal here is going to be to build an electric drag racing mini bike that can set a world record in the eighth mile. I've got the green light from my local drag strip that we go out and race, and they said that it would be okay for me to run this bike at their track. I'm very excited about it. Uh, none of this would have been possible without some of my friends and family who have contributed to me, and I want to say thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. I'll list your names up here, you guys. Just want to let you know that without your guys' help, this wouldn't have been possible. So again, thank you very much, and we'll see you guys in the next video. 